Go. Hi. Hey, welcome everyone. Welcome to Draw 3D Day 4. Well, you have to start again, but we'll okay. just hold that, that near right? your mouth. You ready? And action. Hey, everyone. Welcome to 3D Drawing Day 4. Day, day four. 4. Aren't they a cute couple? Look at this Black Panther back here. He's freaking us out. Thank you guys did wonderful and you're gonna be my live audience. Now she grew up watching me on Imagination Station. Which one? On that? She'll hold that poster yeah, up. Yeah, remember me? Does anybody out there remember me looking like that? <laughs> I was very young. Okay. That compared to actually that's even young. Now this one's even Wow, oh, I've got to get something updated. All right. Well, thank you. And then I'm going to give them that. At what time? You're going to come back and get a free win? win? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock tonight. Yes. All right. We're going to draw the cube tonight, guys. I've been warming up. I got my lesson going here. There you go. And i got to get this all. That was fun. We did it. We pulled it off. So, all right. Now, they told me I had to hook this like this. Okay. Okay. So, day four today, guys. Let's get right into the lesson. Robert Newstead, he gave me some, he's my uh, uh, great, great, great friend. And he's been my uh, executive producer for many, many years, all the way back to the Secret City days. And he gave me some, some production notes. He said, get into the drawing faster. Stop talking so much. This is probably a very, you probably appreciate that, huh? So here it is, we're gonna go day four. We're gonna draw the first, this is tomorrow, day five is we're gonna do hollow cubes. Day four is the cube, and then we're gonna do some variations on it. So let's get going. Are you guys ready? Let's get get going. You have your paper, your pencil, your sketchbook, and I don't have my stopwatch going. Uh, 6.30, so we go. 15 minutes, that's our goal to keep it to six, 15 minutes a day. Day, and then this one, let's taper the wrist. I'm gonna put day four again like that with the fingers. Draw the thumb overlapping, do this with your hand. That's what we're gonna do. One, two, three, four, day four. I'm so proud of you guys. So, so far we have 150,000 people, we have 15. We, <laughs> We have, so far we have 100,000 million. Hey, Diane Kelly, how are you? Day four, two, three, four. And I'm proud of you guys. I'll be even, think how proud we're gonna be when we get to day to 20. All right, so put an exclamation mark, day four. And this is, uh, today is the cube. Now, to learn how to draw the cube, you need to learn what I call the four short of square. There's 12 Renaissance words of drawing, write 12 and write RW. These words have been around for 500 years. If you would like to chart these words, this is what the chart looks like right here. You can get this uh, online. It's on, it's on my website at markkistler.com. We click printables and you can get this whole chart. We're going to use a lot of these words every day. 12 Renaissance words plus 500 years of application, and that's what has enabled artists for centuries to be able to draw in 3D. Remember, 3D means the optical illusion of depth near and far. Near and far. See, same size, but look how large that gets. See how small that is back there? So let's start. Four short and square. Two dots. Draw two dots. We're going to do a bunch of these. You're going to become the experts at a four short and square. Put your finger in the middle, put a dot above your finger, put a dot below your finger. Now we're gonna connect them. Now these two dots, make them close together. Make them close together, I'll tell you why. This is a nice four short and square. We're gonna use that for the top of the cube. We're gonna be drawing this cube that I showed you in the book. We're gonna do another one. Put two dots far apart. Now watch what happens. If you take your dot and you put your dots too far apart like that, you're drawing, you're, it's not wrong, it's not bad, it's just it's not gonna look very 3D. It'll look like you're looking down into the box. I like it much more for a short time. It's really a matter of personal taste, but really let's focus on squishing it. Let's squish it more. <coughs> squish, squish, squish. Someone's right in the text box. Somebody write squish. Somebody write squish in the text to hear all this. Are you on your phone? You can watch it on your phone too. And someone write distort. Someone send me a, a distort. 
right to store it in the text and send it to me, would you? That is what we're trying to do. We're gonna draw a bunch of these. I'm gonna draw another one over here, two dots far apart. Put your finger in the middle, put a dot above and below. If you hear a lot of noise, you guys, it's because we're at New Orleans Comic Con Live right now. And you see a lot of people looking. You see some cool people? Look at, look at all these people. Isn't that cool? They're everywhere. People are everywhere. I'm getting pretty good at manhandling my, my little thing there, aren't I? All right. Yeah. Now, so I'm doing pretty good with the foreshortening. Yeah. I had it perfect and I moved it. All right, so let's do another one. Thank you guys. Put two more dots. Love you. Mwah. Put your finger here. We're just going to do a few of these because. Hi, Megan. Hey, Jared. These four shorts and squares are so important. I just want you to get to a point where you can do a whole row of them. Okay, let's just do two more. Up here. Do one more. Do two dots far apart. Put your finger in the middle. Put a dot above or below. And put a dot below. I'm going to do that at 730. 730. Come back at 730. Draw the four short and square. Draw the four short and square. See that? Look at that. We practice now. Five, six of them. Let's do one more. Put two dots far apart. Put your finger in the middle. And we'll do another one. Isn't this great? Now, I want you to get to the point where you're so com comfortable with these that you'll be able to just to draw them without hesitation. Squish, squish, squish. You see, we took this, this shape and we squished it to make it look 3D. Hey, Thad. Glad you're with us. Hi, Diane. Now, these are the tops of a four short and square. You're practicing so they come. What we're trying to do is make it instinctual for you. So you won't have to look at something and say, oh no, how do I draw it? Well, you're going to have these fundamental shapes and these these beginning uh, four short and uh, shapes to build blocks. Let me show you what I'm talking about. With two dots far apart. Put your finger again in the middle. Put it on above and below your finger. And it's a wonderful, quick way to draw. Now, this really is the beginning of two-point perspective. Now, draw the, now we're going to draw the, the cube here. Draw the middle line coming down. All right. Now we're going to start. We practice, practice, practice. Sharpen your pencil, grab some paper. Get ready, it's almost time. Mark will show you how to get on the paper what's in your mind a rocket ship a pair of shoes a shooting star and some kangaroos if you've enjoyed drawing with mark and want to finish this lesson head over to draw3d.com and join now pencil power